I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if I have the right words or if there even are a set of right words to adequately convey what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to try my best, but I just don't know. So we got some really sad news last year about Tom Kane. And if you don't know who Tom Kane is, you should do because he's been the voice actor for Takio Masaki for the past decade. Takio obviously being one of the foundational and vital characters in the zombie storyline that I've covered on this channel and built my entire career on the shoulders of. Tom has been with us every step of the way and has provided so much for our community and for the communities of so many other games and films and all sorts of stuff. Tom has done a lot of stuff over the years. He really is and has been a prolific voice actor. And I mean, he's a legend. He is just a legend. But like I said, last year, some really sad news came out from, I believe, his daughter, who essentially updated Tom's Facebook and let us all know that Tom had suffered from a stroke. And as you guys no doubt are aware, that can have a real impact on just all of your body's health, of course, but also specifically on your speech, which for a voice actor is obviously crucial stuff. So while he recovered from the stroke and while he tried to kind of heal, right, he basically took some time off voice acting. The message that was put out said he was going to be indefinitely taking some leave and he hoped he would be able to return to voice acting in the future once he kind of found his feet again and once he had recovered sufficiently. And it was really sad stuff, but there seemed like there was hope at the end of the tunnel. There was some light that we could hopefully look forward to that one day he would be able to return to what he no doubt loves and what he does for a living. Sadly though, just as of yesterday, we have a new update from his daughter who has said the following. Our deepest apologies to those of you that sent dad mail to his LA address since his stroke and it got forwarded back to you. It kind of brings me on to my next piece of news. Because of the stroke, my dad has been forced into early retirement. The damage done to his speech center is just too severe. He cannot read well nor get his words out as he wants, which is sort of required for voice acting. He has what's called apraxia, which means he has difficulty moving smoothly from one sound, syllable, or word to another. Movements with his jaw, lips, or tongue to make the correct movement for speech sounds are impaired. Essentially, he knows exactly what he wants to say. He knows exactly what's going on, but the words are trapped in his head. And when they do come out, it's usually too slurred to understand. He has a handful of words that he can say perfectly, but it's only a handful. He relies on all forms of non-verbal communication now. Thank God he's an actor and great at charades. So I'm glad there's at least some levity in this message. I have so much more to say about this, like how many people miss having conversations with him, especially his children and wife. How messed up it is that in a split second, one of the most talented voice actors ever lost his voice and career. I'll stop here or else I'll cry. And I've already done that a thousand times this year. Please feel free to send him letters. I'll be managing the PO box. Add your email and Instagram handle so you can send pictures of the dad receiving the mail as well. He's been practicing his signature and would love to start autographing from home. Thanks for reading all this, Sam. And Sam's at on Instagram is Sammy Kane, spelt S-A-M-I-I-K-A-N-E. I actually had no idea that his daughter was called Sam. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. So this is really tragic news and I just can't stop thinking about how terrible it must be as this incredibly talented voice actor to, in a horrendous twist of fate, lose the ability to even speak to your children and wife. Like that is so, I mean, it just doesn't even bear thinking about. It's, it's so sad. And so, of course, this is devastating news for his family and for his friends and all the people that Sam says miss having conversations with him. But it also is going to mean that all of the communities that Tom was an incredibly important part of are going to lose one of their kind of champions. And it's it's just it's it's just devastating. I mean, what I want to do with this video, the reason I'm making this video as I am is because I want to share a few words about how Tom's voice acting and how his contribution to COD has affected me over the years. And what I'd like while I do that, you guys to do is to just type out a little comment and send a message to Tom so that his daughter can show him this video and he can read through and see all of the amazing messages of support that you guys 
no doubt want to be able to send his way. I mean, you can obviously get in touch with her direct and send him mails and stuff like that, but just for now, getting some stuff in the comments section, just, just messages of how he has impacted your life would be so cool. I'm sure he would appreciate that massively. So get to typing. I'm just going to quickly do my version. So obviously my entire career of the past nearly 15 years now has revolved around Call of Duty zombies that would not be the same if not for Tom. I remember from the earliest days when Takio was introduced and Tom was voicing him, just loving the kind of banter of that crew. And year on year on year, Tom has just continued to elevate his own performance in the role and also do this beautiful job of showcasing the sort of duality of that character, right? Because Takio, who he was voicing, has the very serious Primus Takio and the much more goofy Ultimus Takio. And the way that he navigated doing both of those performances as recently as Black Ops 4 was phenomenal. It was really well done. And the fact also that in Black Ops 4, we got to tie up the arc with all of those characters in the way that we did. And Tom was able to give us our final goodbye from him. Oh my god, it breaks my heart to say that. I'm just glad through it all that we got there at least and that Tom was able to have contributed to all of our lives in such a big way. There is a beautiful mark left on all of us in this community thanks to him and I'm eternally grateful for that. It's crazy. Like I remember back in the day, one of my earlier kind of big videos that took off on my channel was an Ascension world record attempt going for the highest round I could on the Zombies map Ascension. And I remember so clearly I was playing as Takio. I remember it distinctly because I left my PS3 on for like three weeks to try and break the record. And I would genuinely be going to sleep at night having played so much Zombies doing a really slow strat that I would hear quotes from Takio in my head. Confucius says, get me more bullets. All of that stuff. And uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I loved it. I loved all of it. It was, it was just special. It's been special from the very beginning. And there's been magic in what Tom has done for us all that just, I just don't know if it could have come from anywhere else. So I really am grateful for all of the hard work he's put in over the years. So Tom, if you do manage to catch this video, I never actually managed to meet you at any events or any Comic Cons or anything like that. Unfortunately, I just didn't end up crossing paths with you, but you've crossed paths with me uh, and you've really, you've really been amazing. I'm going to sign off here with a message from Tom himself. It's an old video now, but it was his send off, I think, in many ways to the zombies community. And uh, also, guys, like I said, make sure you're writing your messages to Tom in the comments down below. So one final time, Tom. Thank you, and uh, I'm wishing you the best, man. Well, guys, thank you so much. Oh, uh, this you. has been a lot of fun. Is there anything you want to say just to the fans as we wrap up and bid our fond farewells? Oh, man. You know, uh, over 10 years, this has become part of our lives, and uh, thanks for letting us be part of yours. <laughs>